traveled and still traveling the country and meeting all sorts of people from tribal women to people like you. So, in my experience, the differences of caste, creed, community has come down a lot compared to how it was twenty-five years ago, a lot. <laughs> that is a fact. But still, there are terrible things happening in rural India. I have been in the villages and towns, lynchings. These things have always been happening, just not been reported, that's all. Why does this happen? You need to understand, we are not a, a, a state or a country which is ruled by law. It's only society manages its own law. Because there is not enough policemen, there is not enough infrastructure. In the United States, the average time in which a police car arrives is three minutes and twenty seconds on an average. A policeman arrives fully armed. Here a policeman comes with nothing in his hands. No, even lati he doesn't carry, he comes on a bicycle. You don't expect him to handle a frenzied mob. Why is the mob frenzied? I have actually witnessed two lynchings myself. What? Yes. If you live in the villages of this country for twenty to thirty years, minimum one or two lynchings you will definitely witness. I was in a… in, a, in my farm where it's a very remote village. One day I just ride into this village and I see a big crowd, I park my motorcycle and I just go and see, they're just beating a human being like I've never imagined possible. Then I try to get in and try to stop them. They push me aside and they go ahead and the guy dies there on the street and they bury him right there outside the village. Then the sub-inspector of the local, not in that town, somewhere else close by, the police station is some ten, fifteen kilometers away, he was a friend of mine, he was my batchmate. So I went there and I told him, what is happening? You, you need to do something about this. He said, I know about it, you don't get into this affair. Somewhere they're building some small dam and somebody starts a rumor all over the place that they're taking children and sacrificing for this dam. In every village this is happening. They, any strange looking guy enters that village, it's finished. That they're going to steal their children. This is the way mob enforces law, unfortunately. We need to change this means, it needs education, it needs evolution of the society and it needs enforcement.